Now we are going to scale Mars Lighthouse. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun the Lost Age. In the last episode, we cleared the way to the top of Mars Lighthouse. In this episode, we are taking down the final boss. Who is that final boss, you may ask? Spoiler alert! <laughs> Just for the sake of interest being interesting, I'm going to swap out Jenna for Mia here. Besides, she's a better healer anyway. You have proven your worth. The heavens await you. Let's go. No turning back. <laughs> All right, now we do a bit of preparation. Oh, why do I have? Well, I guess I won't be using Iris. You know what? Let's swap out Garrett for Piers. I should be able to manage for a little while, especially if I, uh... Put granite on Isaac. But yeah, I should be able to manage for a little while with this setup. Betrayers, you have arrived! Who said that? The wind's too strong, I can't see anything. I heard it too, but I don't see anyone else up here. Felix, quick, cast a Mars Star in before anything has a chance to stop us. So, you are still intent on lighting the beacon of Mars Lighthouse. Who said that? Have you forgotten me so soon, Isaac? And you, Garrett? Who seems to know you, Isaac. Do you have any idea what it is? Then search your heart, boy. That voice. The wise one! Isaac, since when are you on a first name basis with the wise one? Then, then Isaac, what happened in Soul Sanctum after we were kidnapped? When Satros and Nardi stole the elemental stars, they also triggered a volcanic eruption. But the wise one prevented Mount Aleph from erupting so that Garrett and I could escape. But wait, Mount Aleph did erupt! There was a huge explosion! We saw it all the way in Vault! But it would have erupted with us still inside. There was no way we could escape in time. The wise one held off the eruption until we could escape. He even halted the lava flow. Can't believe it. Nobody has enough power to do that. That sounds weird, but I was there and it just happened, and it happened, so you just have to believe us. If you didn't do all that, this wise one seems more like a god than an adept. I did not just save you, I also tasked you with recovering the four elemental stars. Why have you disobeyed my command? Why have you come to light the beacon? Because Prox will be destroyed if we don't. We can't let that happen. Prox. They have brought this disaster upon themselves. Are you saying we should just abandon them to die? What do they do to deserve that? The people of Prox have committed an unforgivable sin. They must pay the price. For laying the lighthouses? Is that their sin? Does that warrant total destruction? If we don't like the beacon, Gaia Falls will eventually erode away all of Wayard. We fought for so long to save all the people of our world, but now you would stop us? Gaia Falls is growing. It's consuming more and more with each passing day. How can you just allow the world to crumble into nothingness? The seal needs to be broken. The world we will be destroyed if it's not. You have learned far too much. Wise one, you can't continue to protect the lighthouses. You know what's happening. 
It's your duty to protect all of Weyard. If Weyard is destroyed, you will have failed us all. Why won't you answer us, wise one? If alchemy is unleashed, mankind Weyard may well destroy all of Weyard itself. If we can combine our strengths, ensure to alchemy not be used for evil. It is inevitable. In time, one man will seek to rule over all. It is human nature, inescapable. And it shall come sooner than any of you think. Why do you say that? Water adept who climbs toward the peak of Mount Aleph even as we speak. Is he not a friend of yours? Alex is his name. Surely you have not forgotten him. Alex? But what would he be doing on Mount Aleph? He understands far more than you do. He knows that when the four beacons have been lit, their light will gather in soul sanctum. What would he gain from being there? When the final beam of light reaches the peak of Mount Aleph, the golden sun shall rise. The golden sun? Uh, what is that? And what would Alex want with it? When the four beams merge into one, they form a golden light bathing Mount Aleph's peak. Is that alchemy? I, I mean, pure alchemy made real at the heart of its power? And it's that light that gets shaped to the Stone of Sages. This has been Alex Wounds, Alex's one true desire from the very start. Alex planned all of this? Uh, then he must have been after this power all along. We've been duped! He used us all! Oh, you better believe he's not getting away with this. Alex, how could he do this? He's one of my own people. I feel sick. Disgusted. None of that matters right now. We still have to light the beacon. We don't have any choice. If we don't do it now, Prox will be destroyed. Felix, we have to, right? Yeah. I mean, we can stop Alex. Come on. You bet we do. Why does one will have to deal with Alex on his own? I cannot interfere in the actions of mankind. If you can't interfere, then how about getting out of our way so we can light the beacon, huh? Good one, Janet. I don't like doing exactly what Alex, Alex wants, but it looks like we got no choice. Don't worry, Felix. Just throw the smart star into the beacon's well. Now! Wise one, didn't you just say that you aren't allowed to interfere with our actions? That is correct. I cannot stop you. But what if some miracle were to occur, one that prevented you from inviting the beacon. A miracle. What are you talking about? What kind of miracle? You can defeat a miracle, only then can you ignite the beacon's flame. Wise one is up to something. Be wary, everyone. We all know what he's capable of. Some lead dragon! Why are your heads moving around that like? A three-headed dragon? That's your miracle? So you would have us fight for our future. Fine, then fight we shall. What's he thinking? We already beat a two-headed dragon. How much tougher can this one be? I don't care how many heads it has. Nothing's going to stop us now. Let's do it! For Prox! For the future of Weyard! Wait a second. Is that two-headed dragon actually? So that means a three-headed dragon will soon be. But Felix, no! You mustn't fight that dragon! It's too late, Creighton. We can't get away from it now. Felix, don't stop! Dude, summon Iris. <laughs> Unleash the power of the sun. Again. <laughs> oh wow, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Oh well. Yeah, he's gonna use uh, Earth and Fire Synergy against us. The only real threat here is, well, one attack in particular, and then 
We also gotta deal with, uh... <laughs> really? Well, thankfully, uh, here's a new one. He has one attack in particular. What? He has one attack in particular we should really be looking out for. Otherwise, the only real threat is, uh... Well, mostly the fact that... I kind of don't have a healer at the moment. Let's <laughs> restore. Dragon is defending. So apparently he's losing a turn to something. does not do much against this guy. Got it. Again? Cruel Ruin. This is the attack I was worried about. Thank you. 
Okay, this boss is probably harder than I gave him credit for. At least he kills me Yes, cool. Now we're back in business. And this is probably going to kill someone. I'm calling kids. Yep. Why did I know? And there goes Piers again. Damn it, Piers. Do I need to switch you out for Garrett? Seriously? Stop spamming crow ruin, really? Seriously? Dragon? And there goes Piers again! This is ridiculous! At this point, it would probably just be better to switch to my backup part. Go ahead. Shade. That's great. Just what we need.
Everybody jump out of the wagon. <laughs> Way to go, Mia! <laughs> that is just too funny. Suddenly, plot twist! Who are they? That's what I was trying to warn you about! It wasn't just a dragon you killed. I remember you warning us, but it was too late for us to stop. Brayden, what do you know? Why are you trying to stop us from fighting dragon? It's the Wise One's final trap. Trap? What do you mean? The wise One knew he couldn't stop you, so he played a cruel, wretched trick on you instead. Brayden, I don't understand. What are you trying to tell us? Shiba, let's see who those people are while we try to sort this out. No, Jen, don't look! You mustn't look! It only bring you pain. What are you talking about, Craden? They can't hurt us anymore. We'll just... What's the matter, Jen? It can't be. How? What is it, Isaac? Isaac! I know that guy! That's your dad! Does that mean the other two are... <sighs> Mom, Dad... I'll feel Jenna's parents. Quickly, Mia. Tend to Isaac's father. If only I'd realize it sooner. Why'd you stop? Jenna's parents need you. Don't give up, Mia. You can't. You have to save them. It's no use, Ivan. I'm tapped. I am too, and even if I weren't, it's just too late. What are you saying? They're, they're not... They can't be... It's not what I'm saying, Jenna. I... I finally found them. I was gonna be with them again for the first time in years. Jenna... Wake up! It's me! It's Jenna! Don't leave me! Jenna, you must prepare yourself for what comes next. Being transformed into a dragon, fighting in that form, that requires tremendous power. What are you saying, Creighton? In fighting you, your parents were forced to use every last ounce of their energy. They don't have the strength to... Even if they had won the battle, they wouldn't have survived. You can't blame yourself. You monster! <laughs> Why'd you do this? Why'd you make us fight Jenna's parents? Hmm. That's enough. I knew what I was doing the moment I raised my sword. Defied the wise one in order to save the world. Our parents would understand. Don't you think so, Felix? You're right. It hurts, but it's true. We didn't do this for ourselves. We did it for all of Wayard. We still have a chance to save Prox. Perhaps we can't save your parents, but we can save countless others. How do the others save them, too? They sacrificed their lives so that we could go on. Never imagined that my actions would help save the world. You know, letting the beacon may create wars and strife. I regret none of this. There's a little time left, Felix. Use the Mars Star and light the beacon.
Look, I joined this quest hoping to prevent exactly this from happening. I began this quest as a prisoner, taking against my will. If that tile wave hadn't sent me far, of course, I wouldn't even be here now. How many lives have been taken and changed forever just to light this beacon? Mom, Dad, where is safe now? You're right! I hear voices too! I told you! I told you I could hear them! Who said that? Where are you? We're in IMO! We're at the base of Mercury Lighthouse! You can't be! Hey! I know that voice! It's Mia! I just know it! Mia! It's you! Of course it's us! We can hear you, Mia! You're alright! I'm so happy! Who are those two kids talking to? No, they've been standing here telling everyone to leave the lighthouse. We're a couple of kids if you ask me. How is it that we can hear you? I don't know, but he told us we'd be able to talk to you if we came here now. He? Who's he? I don't know. We were sleeping, and he came to us in a dream. He said, go to the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Why? He said that we have to deliver a message. He was too busy to do it himself. What message? We have to warn everyone to stay clear of the lighthouses. What's going to happen? I don't know, but he told us to warn people away from Mount Aleph as well. Who's he? You still haven't told us. You're a meanie. I don't tell meanies anything. Don't pay any attention to him. It's me, Mia. Can you tell me who spoke to you? I told you, I don't know, but he looked like a big rock with a big rocky eye. The wise one. What can you be doing? Of course, I understand. The wise one said that when all four lighthouses have been lit, the golden sun will shine. When that happens, Mount Aleph and the lighthouses will probably become quite dangerous. The wise one is warning people in dreams, telling them to seek refuge. Why would he do that? You saw what he did to us. He can't be up to anything good. Have you not learned? One's actions do not always reveal one's true intentions. Hama, his sister. Master Hama, did you receive a message too? Yes, I was called to Jupiter Lighthouse in a dream. You have completed your quest, but I see it comes with great loss. Your suffering has been almost unbearable. Mr. Hammer, my parents... I know, Jen, and I'm sorry, but do not give up hope for him just yet. What do you mean, Master Hammer? Appearances can be an illusion. The wise one has a caring heart. He forced us to fight Isaac and Jenna's parents! What's so caring about that? The wise one were truly evil. He would not be warning me of danger in my dreams. But well, I guess not, but then what's he up to? We do not have time to discuss it right now. She's right. The wise one said it's not safe to be near the lighthouses, and I think we should listen. I'm heading for safety, too. All of you must get away from the lighthouse now. Hurry, everyone. Let's go. What about our parents? We can't leave them behind. I understand how you feel, but we won't make it if we have to take them with us. Make the decision, Felix. Should we take them with us? It's too dangerous! The golden sun is forming! A ray of light is emanating from the beacon, from the Mars star. What'll happen? The power of alchemy will be unleashed upon the world! We must take Isaac's father and Jenna's parents and flee! Stop it! Let go of my wrist! Garrett, get a grip! No one's touching you! I I'm serious! I. The beacon! Jenna, we have to move your parents. Mom, Dad! What's happening? There's no time for questions, just carry them. Carry them and go! Thank you, Felix. And you too, Isaac and Crane. By igniting Mars Lighthouse, you stopped Gaia Falls from devouring our town. We're just glad to have helped save Wayard been through many trials, more than any of us can ever know. We had no idea what to expect when he lit the final beacon. We saw the flash of the beacon, we had no idea what you suffered to light it. I thought we were done for. There was no way we could escape with our parents' bodies. Well, at least not if we hadn't pulled together and overcome our sorrows. That light was brilliant! You know, I shall always regret that I didn't get to look upon the beacon's light from afar. I understand you. As a scholar of alchemy, you have been most
most impressed. I saw the beams of blue, red, and purple streaming out toward the southeast. That's the direction in which Vale lies, isn't it? Was the light headed to your hometown? Indeed it was. The wise ones said the beams were going to merge into one above Mount Aleph. The orb of golden light we saw. That was shining directly over Vale? Yes, that was the golden sun forming over Mount Aleph. If I remember the tales correctly, the golden sun is the blast of light emitted at the very moment the Stone of Sages forms. Such legends exist even here? I wish that I'd known that sooner! I fear for Vale to think that all this energy is being released right over your hometown. We're all worried about that. We're hoping we can return to Vale as quickly as possible. Oh, is there nothing we can do to convince you to stay? I hoped you might stay in Prox for a while, but that sounds unlikely. Don't worry, we plan on returning as soon as things quiet down, don't we? Yeah. Our village will not soon forget that you saved us from the edge of destruction. Do Villas visit us again. When that time comes, I may no longer be in this world. Don't say such things, I'm sure a long life awaits you. Well, I suppose we should be departing for Vale soon. You're right, Raiden. If we don't want you know who might start causing trouble. At least some of your cares have been with me. You must be glad to know we've brought all three back from the brink of death. <coughs> I would not have thought it possible had I not seen it. Even I do not fully understand it, but there can be no doubt. The fire synergy released by the beacon rekindled their spirits. I hadn't expected so much synergy to be released by the lighthouse's beam. No real explanation other than that their life force has not been fully extinguished. It's a miracle, but the fire synergy seems to have recharged them somehow. Had your parents not been adepts, the waves of synergy would have passed them by. Isaac, what's taking you so to so long? Don't keep me waiting. Uh oh, it's Jenna. We're late, and she looks rather displeased with us. Should I let her know we're leaving now? I'm sorry, we're almost done. Can you wait for us at the village gates with the others? I'm serious! If I have to wait much longer, you're not going to be happy! I'll wait outside with them. <laughs> I don't think they want to wait anymore, Felix. We're all set to head home. They have no patience whatsoever. I oh, suppose it's time to leave. May your journey home be safe and uneventful. We shall never forget what you have done for Prox. <laughs> or what, she'll go all lone Majin on us? So long. Mom and Dad are tired of waiting for you. It's not true, Felix. You, you take as long as you need to say farewell to the people of Prox. Don't worry about us, Felix. Puel and the others take, took good care of us. Don't tell him that! We'll be stuck here forever! You look like you're feeling back to your old self, Jenna. You were weeping such mournful tears after a bow. What? As if! You can't prove anything! Go easy on her. You have to remember, she thought that both of her parents had died. Oh, were you crying, Jenna? I, no, I, I, I said I wasn't! That only got me thinking about my family. Didn't think I'd miss them this much. <coughs> I only hope that they're all safe back in Vale. I just want to be home again. I want to see how my mother is doing. Don't worry, son. I'm sure Dora's doing fine. She's a strong woman. But last time I saw her, she looked so... I thought she since she eh, must be remembering wrong. Sorry to keep you all waiting. At last the time has come for us to return to Vale. As soon as we leave Prox, we'll head toward Angara and from there to Vale. I can't wait to see this winged ship of yours. It sounds so incredible. I remember so little of our trip to Prox. This is really my first voyage on a ship. The wind and waves make the boat rock. Hope they don't get sick. This ancient ship of ours actually flies above the ocean. It's quite a cozy ride. 
Looks like we got an exciting last trip out of us, doesn't it? Wow, setting out like this takes me back to our own quest star. It was so long ago. You keep talking like this, we'll never go anywhere. Let's go, Felix. It's our voice. Are you reluctant to depart? It's not bad. After all we've been through, you can't possibly be nervous about this small trip. I just hope that Vale came out of this in as good a condition as Prox did. I won't know until we get there. I can't stop thinking about how my parents are doing. Are both of them in Vale? Can't you make a guess, Creighton? Will Vale still be standing when we arrive? Not even I can know that. You can see it in your eyes, Creighton. You think something's happened, don't you? It's a possibility. One that cannot be ignored. If it's not there, then what's the point in even going back? Is that really how you feel, Isaac? What about you, Felix? You remember, don't you, Felix? Think about it for a moment, Isaac. What do you mean? Our conversation with Hannah after we reignited the beacon. Don't you remember us talking to the children from Imil at the base of Mercury Lighthouse? And they were warning people away from the lighthouses? Yes, the wise one instructed everyone to seek refuge. Yeah, so what about it? You still don't see, Garrett? Even if Vale were destroyed, I expect that all the, all the villagers have escaped to safety. I guess that's true. It might still be alright. That's true. So, whatever happens, my family's alive. I've forgotten about that. Thanks, Green. Garrett, can you make sure everyone else knows that? Okay, let's go, both of you. We still have to catch up to everyone. Brayden? Why did the Wise One change our parents into a dragon? Why did he make us fight them? Uh, I mean, we almost killed them. He tried to make us kill our own parents. Why? Do you think that he intended for them to die from the start? I have no idea. Uh, you don't understand why he put you through all this if he knew they'd survive. I'm not hope to fathom that the motives of a being as all-powerful as the wise one. You will know either, Creighton? I can only hazard a guess. The wise one wanted to test you. What do you mean, test us? I cannot tell you more. It's up to you to find the answer. Will, you, will we use alchemy to wage war, to raise armies, or will we use it to grow wise, to rise above our petty feuds and perform great deeds? If you're willing to sacrifice everything for your quest, I'd say you've risen to this challenge. Is everyone else that far ahead of us? We better hurry and catch up to the others before we leave us behind. After all, I'm not terribly interested in trying to walk on the way back to Vale. Feel the same, then we better be hurrying. Isaac, Felix, we're off! <laughs> well, that's Golden Sun, ladies and gentlemen. It's taken, what is it, two years? Three years, actually, but I'd say it was a fun journey! Just kind of wish I had more time to. Hey there, Alex. Son, the very quintessence of alchemy's power is beginning. Wait for me, please wait. Wait until I reach the summit of Mount Aleph. Alex sure can climb. <laughs> Sakura. Who's 
eternal life and limitless power! Last, the power of nature is mine to control as I will! Rise, storms! Rise up and unleash your might upon Vale and the foothills of Mount Aleph! I should have limitless power, so why can't I call up a simple storm? Uh, who are you? I am called the Wise One. The Wise One? Veil's Protector? You wish to have limitless power? You wish to? I just got it! happened to everyone in Vale. So it's just over that last hill. Can't wait to see what your hometown looks like. It's beautiful. I'm sure you will like it, Pierce. I'm just going to close my eyes. Someone tell me if it's alright to open them. Two. Would someone else see how things are? I'll go. Come with me, Felix. How's it look, Isaac? I'm almost there. It can't be. What is it, Isaac? Felix? Say something. Uh, I'm sorry, Jenna, but Vale, Mount Aleph, they're gone. What? This is terrible. Is that Mount Aleph? after all your adventures. Ha <laughs> I got to see my brother crying. So, you made it back, Gary. I knew it would take more than this to be your son. Welcome home, Gary. You look surprised. 
to see this scary. How did you survive? The last one warned us of danger. The guy is here to save me. I'm not alone. soundtrack room. <laughs> so yeah. Pretty neat stuff. And Soroxis. Oh, just odd. And Soroxis, you can look up my entire Let's Play on YouTube. It's all there. Just look up the uh, Silly Cat 2. S-I-L-L-E-Y Cat 2. You'll find it. Uh, honestly, I would like to change it to Surreal K9. Maybe I'll up a new account once I finish Lime Lime. That would be nice. Thank you. See y'all later. 